Hello and Namaste. So we are starting with the linear programming problems that is LPP and we are started uh, starting with the simplex method and this particular session is for introduction for the simplex method. So in this particular session we are going ahead with a detailed discussion on different terminologies or terms we require for the simplex method I, as well as the uh, standard form for the simplex method. Now most real life problems when formulated as an LP model have more than two variables and therefore need a more efficient method to suggest an optimal solution for such problems. In this, in this particular uh, series or in this particular playlist we will be discussing on a procedure called the simplex method for solving an LP model for of such problems. This method was developed by G. B. Danzing in 1947. The simplex, an important term in mathematics, represents an object in an n-dimensional space connecting n plus 1 points. In one dimension, the simplex represents a line segment connecting two points in two dimensions. It represents a triangle formed by joining three points. In three dimensions, it represents a four-sided pyramid. The concept of simplex method is similar to the graphical method. In graphical method, extreme points of the feasible solution space are examined in order to search for the optimal solution that lies at one of these points. For LP problems, with several variables, we may not be able to graph the feasible region, but the optimal solution will still lie at an extreme points of the many-sided multidimensional figure which is called as a, a n dimensional polyhedron that represents the feasible solution space. The simplex method examines these extreme points in a systematic manner, repeating the same set of steps of algorithm until an optimal solution is found. It is for this reason that it is also called the iterative method. Since the number of extreme points of the feasible solution space are finite, the method assures an improvement in the value of objective function as we move from one iteration extreme point to another and achieve the optimal solution in a finite number of steps. The method also indicates when an unbounded solution is reached. So now in this playlist we are, we are dealing with the simplex method and the methods similar which are required for linear program programming problems. Now uh, as for the important terms, the basic solution is the first term which we uh, would like to go ahead. Now given a system of m simultaneous linear equations with n greater than m variables, ax is equals to b where a is equals to aid that is n cro m cross n matrix where rank of a is equals to m now capital b is the m cross m that is a square matrix with the order m here uh, non singular sub matrix of a obtained by reordering m linearly independent columns of a then a solution obtained by setting n minus m variables are not associated with columns of B equal to 0 and solving this resulting system is called basic solution to the system given system of equations. Now the M variables may not all 0 are called basic variables. The M cross M non singular sub matrix capital B is called basis matrix and the column B is called basis vector. So this M basic variables, M different basic variables, capital B is basis matrix, capital B is also known as the basis, the column capital B is called a basis uh, vector. So this is nothing but it's called over here as the different notations. Now capital B is the basis matrix, then the basic solution of the system of equations is will be given to us as XB is equals to B inverse B. Okay, so therefore, for this particular uh, uh, important terms, the second term is basic feasible solution. A basic solution of the system of simultaneous equation ax is equals to b is called the basic feasible. That is, if x b equals to greater than equals to zero. So, if all the all this uh, this x are positive 
or zeros then it is known as basic feasible solution which we should not have any any negative x now degenerate solution a basic solution to the system of simultaneous equations x equals to b is called degenerate if one or one or more of the basic variables assume zero value that is arises when there is a tie in the minimum ratio value that determines the variable to enter into the next solution now in in locating the pivot now uh, I'll, i'll be discussing about the pivot row pivot column and pivot element at the time of the different questions i'll be dealing with the of the simplex method now but but as the degenerate solution this pivot row uh, follows the important role in this uh, degenerate solution so in an inertial simplex table one or more entries in the last column may be zero if the variable to be replaced is also already zero then it is difficult to construct new table then if the ratio of for two or more variables is identical then there is a problem of selecting the pivot row the above two conditions give rise to phenomena called degeneracy here the degenerate lpp can either be solved by an arbitrary selection of one or one of the tied in a variable in finite number of steps or the problems will be begin to cycle now i'm i'm dealing with this different uh, uh, terms in detail just to have you all the understanding of this particular terms again the terms would be more clear to you whenever we are going and solving the different simplex examples simplex problems now cost vector let x b be the basic feasible solution to the lpp maximize c is equal, uh, z equals to cx subject to the constraint x is equals to b and x is greater than equals to 0 the non negativity then the vector c b that is c b 1 c b 3 c b 2 actually here c b 2 c c b 3 and so on is called cost vector that represents the coefficient of basic variable x b in the basic feasible solution then now yeah suppose we have the different constraints so now we have the uh, con con constraint suppose greater than equals to or less than equals to we'll have to uh, do something with this constraint to make it equality now suppose for example if we have this constraint is of less than or equal to type if we have the constraint is less than or equals to type that means the lhs part is the lesser than the rhs part in that case we have to make it equal the lhs and rhs we have to bring it to the one single level by adding one variable or some variable in this lhs side and that variable is known as slack variable now slack variable represents an unused resource either in the form of time or a machine or a labor hours or a money or a warehouse space etc it is added to less than or equals to constraints in order to get an equality constraint since these variables don't yield any profit therefore such variables are added to the objective function with zero coefficients now for example again we have got this type of scenario wherein we have got the greater than or equals to constraint at that time the lhs is greater than the rhs part we have to give away something from this this lhs side that is known as surplus variable or it is also known as negative slack now surplus variable represents the amount by which solution values exceed a resource these variables are also called as negative slack variable it is added to greater than or equal to constraints in order to get an equality constraint surplus variable like slack variable carry a zero coefficient in the objective function surplus variable same as that of the slack which is having the zero coefficient in the objective function now uh, then artificial variable and artificial variable is added to the constraint to get an initial solution to the lp problem so this is also very important variable which is known as an artificial variable we will be having a detailed uh, discussion about this artificial variable at the time when we, uh, we will be going ahead with the big m method or penalty method now basis basis is a set of variables represent in the solution have positive non zero values that is these variables are also called as basic variables non basic so which the variables which are not basis or basic they are known as non basic infeasibility infeasibility is a solution in which no solution satisfies all the constraints of lp problem 
and then cj minus zj very important concept of this particular cj minus zj in the concept of simplex method these are the row values represent the net profit or a loss resulting from introducing one unit of any variable into the basis or the solution mix very very important concept of cj minus zj will be going with this concept for the simplex method now standard form of an lpp the use of simplex method to solve an lpp requires that the problem to be converted into its standard form now standard form has the characteristics first is all the constraints should be expressed as the equations by adding slack or a surplus and or artificial variables the right hand side of each constraint should be made non negative if not this is done by multiplying both the sides of the resulting constraint by minus of 1 the objective function should be of the maximization type in the standard form and therefore the standard form of the lpp should be given to us as optimize maximum as minimum actually this is just a minute yeah this is one so this is optimize maximum so you, you can say that this is this is particular this is known as the objective function that is maximization of max or minimization then this set of the values or this set of the equations they are known as the constraints these are the constraints and this last is known as a non negativity non negativity constraint non negativity constraint so this first is known as the objective function so this is known as an objective function so in fact in this particular uh, lpp type of problems we will have the different three different set of boxes first is objective function then we have the constraints and then we have the non negativity constraint so now this standard form we have to deal with the object uh, objective function the constraints and the non negativity constraint now this particular standard form will look like this wherein we have got this introduce s1 in the first constraint s2 in the second constraint sm in the mth constraint to have uh, this all this slack variables or might be a surplus variables but yes surplus variables we are always having the this is minus 1 times s uh, say for m or any um, uh, sub suffix you can say but we will have this so this particular object this particular standard form will look like something like this and if you will observe we have got whatever the variables we have uh, introduced surplus or slack variable the so the coefficient of those variables in the objective function should be zero and the same variables would be added in the non negativity constraint so this s1 we have to introduce in three of them like first first constraint then the in the objective function and then the non negativity constraint now if we have to have this standard form in a compact way we can express this in terms of the summation that is maximize or minimize z summation of cj is xj j is from 1 to n that means we have got here n number of n number of variables so this j is moving from 1 to n that means we have got this x1 x2 x3 up to xn variables so we have got it here n variables and we can say that that we have got m constraint because we have introduced here m different type of uh, slack or a surplus variables and therefore this is the constraint we can have it here and the non negativity constraint so that whatever the standard form we have here we can express that in terms of the summation sign giving i or j particularly for this particular function okay now few of the remarks remarks for this any lp problem maximization or minimization may have first no feasible solution that is the value of the decision variable xj may not satisfy every constraint so this if it is not satisfying all the constraint it is known as no feasible or that is that is infeasible solution a unique optimum feasible solution and more than one optimum feasible solution that is alternative optimum feasible solutions a feasible solution for which the objective function is unbounded that is the value of the objective function can be made as large as possible in maximization whereas it can be made as small as possible in the minimization problem any minimization uh, minimization lp problem can be converted into an equivalent maximization problem by changing the sign of cj in the objective function that is minimize summation of cj xj aj is moving from 1 to n is equals to maximize summation of minus of cj so if you observe here this cj the positive variables have been converted into the negative and we can say that min we can write down as max of negative so this is also one of the way to write down and we are going 
go ahead in every minimization question we are trying to convert into the maximization so that we will have the uh, the flow chart of this entire simplex method remain the same for the same maximization okay now any constraint expressed as equality or you can say here in this way sign may be replaced by two weak inequalities for example suppose we have got this is equals to b1 then this is nothing but less than or equals to and greater than or equals to the same constraint b1 so this is also one of the way we are using in the standard form three types of additional variables namely slack surplus and the uh, artificial so if you will observe slack is plus s surplus is minus s and this artificial variable is capital a we are going to use the notation as are added in the given lp problem to convert it into the standard form by the follow this uh, for the following reasons now what is the reason to convert the given lpp in the in the standard form is these variables allow us to convert inequalities into equalities thereby converting the given lp problem into its standard form such form will help in getting solution of the lp problem and these variables help decision makers to draw economic interpretations from the final solution third one is these variables are used to get an initial feasible solution represented by the columns of the identity matrix so we'll be having the detailed discussion all 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 these problems which we have discussed here while solving the questions as well now summary of additional variables added in the lpp please do have this this particular table with you so that you can easily check this out what to do when to do and how to do right okay now the the columns are types of constraint extra variables needed then coefficient of additional variable in the objective function so max z min z presence of additional variable in the initial solution now less than or equal to constraint a slack variable needs to be added maximization coefficient is zero for that minimization also coefficient is zero and initial solution yes existent will have in the slack vary of the slack variable in the initial solution now if we have the greater than or equal to constraint at that time a surplus variable is subtracted and an artificial variable added so we have to do when the greater than equal to constraint is there we have to do two things surplus variable as well as the, the artificial variable now if we have got if we have this added this sub, the surplus variable subtracted then the maximization coefficient is zero minimization also co coefficient zero but the presence of additional variable in the initial solution no we are not uh, having this initial solution with the surplus variable but yes if we have got the artificial variable the coefficient for this max is minus m minimization plus m and we are going to add in the an initial or we are going to have this initial solution the presence of artificial variable if we have got the equality we have to add the artificial variable that is the coefficient for max z is minus m min z is plus m and the initial solution yes we have so we do not have the presence of additional variable in the initial solution for the surplus variable rest of all the cases we are saying yes we can add them in the initial solution yeah and this is all about the particular uh, introduction for the simplex method we will be uh, dealing with the different uh, questions different type of questions we'll be trying to cover the minimization maximization every type of questions in the upcoming sessions please do connect it stay, stay tuned for the upcoming sessions thank you so much happy learning